this is Fiba podcast. Thank you for joining us in our morning daily devotion. An undivided heart. The heart is so often divided. We need the Lord to unite it back. This is the situation many of us face right now. Our hearts are fragmented because we are pulled in so many directions all at once. A preacher once said, "The world around us is no help. Trash, trinkets and treasures." Sometimes we are enticed by the things that turn out to be trash and sometimes we are distracted by the things that are not bad in themselves but when pursued as the goal of life end up being trinkets little gaudy baubles that amount to nothing much when you look at them closely how hard it is to focus on the treasures of life how easy to mistake the trinkets for treasures what takes away your heart from what's important What are the marks of a divided heart? Distractions, confusion, worry, and misguided trust. There is no love, easily falling into temptation, having a vengeful spirit, giving excuses, blaming others for every failure. Submission to authority is difficult because of pride. Love the world more than loving God. Self-deception self-reliance and unclear about commitments the bible tells us that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways i would like to focus on two main points one priorities a divided heart is unable to prioritize some of the reasons are the worries of life this refers to concerns in your life that you are giving all your attention to it could be concern for your job or your health or personal financial situation it could be a relationship it could be a family issue that keeps you up at night another reason is the deceitfulness of wealth we all understand this money or wealth can drive you away from what is true good and right the more you have the more you want the love of money seduces us into its deceitfulness the next reason is when trouble or persecution comes because of the world the pain and struggles of the world is real and it's hard to live in a world filled with trials and trauma difficulties and pain challenges and obstacles sometimes the pain and struggles and the fight in this world turns our heart away from god the second main point is that The divided heart is a powerless heart. Jesus said that a house divided against itself cannot stand. It is weak. God does not want you to have a divided heart. God wants all of you. As we read in the Bible in Mark chapter 12 verse 30, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The Lord wants all of you. So what unites a heart? the lordship of christ it is recognizing and allowing his presence to be the guiding factor in your life if christ is the lord of our life a divided heart must become an undivided heart where the only one who is the lord of your heart is jesus christ as the psalmist says in psalm 86 verse 11 teach me your way lord that i may rely on your faithfulness Give me an undivided heart that I might fear your name. It is either all or nothing with God. That's why David prayed so fervently, Lord, give me an undivided heart. Dear listener, we are here to stand with you in your time of need. We want to pray with you and for your prayer request. Do you need someone to talk to? We are here for you. Call us. or send a message at plus nine one six three six four two five two one six four plus nine one six three six four two five two one six four God bless you